know, their most significant structures just totally destroyed. You know, the cathedral, the president's palace. There is such a need for housing, clean water, enough food for your whole family. Uh, they've seen a lot of tragedy, they've seen a lot of trials, they've seen a lot of struggles, but the resolve in their heart, you see, the resolve in their soul, their spirit. God has called all of us to, to love the impoverished and, and treat them with dignity and respect. I'm here to help wherever I can. Uh, I hope to help the people here, but then for myself, I hope to take away a sense of kind of how blessed we are. God bless you. Keep serving God, okay? Keep serving God in Jesus' name. This mission strip brings a group of people together from performance services, Samaritan Feet, and Food for the Poor staff members. Our goal in this trip is to show um, this group what we have been able to accomplish. We as a company, we had about uh, 50 people at the time. The idea was that you know our 50 families would help 50 families in Viola to build these 50 homes. Come on, Rene. I get the chance to look in the eyes of children just like me. I grew up, I grew up in Nigeria, in the western coast of Africa. I was one of those little boys uh, many years ago that didn't have shoes, that didn't have food, didn't have hope. But because of the generosity of missionaries like this that came to my country many years ago, he gave me my first ever pair of shoes and he inspired me to dream that the God of the universe has a plan for me. And because of that, we've now started an organization called Samaritan's Feet that goes around the world to go wash the feet of 10 million children. So children like this can be reminded that they have hope and they can be anything they want to be. I'm going to find a tickle spot. I'm going to find that right here. We are here because God has called us to help uh, build your community. When it rains and you're dry, and when the hurricanes come and you're safe, um, and when you're nourished from the cows and the trees, um, to just remember that it's God uh, that has done this for you and to thank God. That's it. I'm going to share a real quick story with you. The story is about this little African boy. This little boy grew up in a poor family. Didn't even have shoes. This little boy was so poor. To be able to have one meal a day was luxury. One day, when he was nine years old, he went to go sell water at this park. But that day, there was a group of missionaries that came to come teach African boys and girls how to play basketball. Basketball. And then the missionaries asked them, we're going to do a competition. And it's going to be a shooting contest. And that little boy won. And they brought that little boy to the front. And then they presented him. A pair of shoes. And that boy, he got a scholarship. To go to America. To, to go play basketball. And God bless them. He said, I'm going to give 10 million shoes to poor children all over the world. And I'm going to wash their feet like Jesus did. Well, that boy is no longer in Africa. That boy is no longer he's not in the U.S. right now. That boy is standing in front of you. So, ah. We're here today to wash these little people's feet and to be able to pray for them, to be able to serve them as we're expected to serve when the Lord said we were supposed to know Him, to love Him, and to serve Him. God brought me here to you to tell you that He loves you. And I'm here to, to serve you because you're special. It's always been my dream to do this. It's my way of showing the Lord that I can empty myself of me and fill me with Him. They're beautiful. Every job is important and every life is important. So it's just wonderful to, to be able to do this. These kids are just so happy and just so, so wonderful and um, they have such great 
um, need but such great joy. And the opportunity to get to wash your feet and put on your shoes is really cool. The first time they, when you touch their feet and they look at you and they're like, really, you're touching my feet? Or just like, you can just tell they're, they're overwhelmed. There we go, one. You know, every single time we do this, a dream come true. The fact that we realize that we've been blessed and we have so much responsibility to bless others. I don't even know this young boy right here could be the, the future president of this nation. But we speak words of hope and inspiration to his life, pray for him, because God has a plan for him. And I know God's going to do great things through his life. And uh, it's awesome just to see the smile and joy on his face. And, uh, and I know great things are in store. And uh, the fact that I was given a parachute by a missionary and now giving it to other kids around the world, uh, I'm living my dream. <laughs> We're in VLA where uh, we've built 50 homes and as we're walking through we happen to see this tent which is very similar to the tents we've seen throughout all of Haiti and, and the tents that they had here before uh, the homes were constructed and so I think it, it's just a, such a stark contrast between this tent uh, and this beautiful home uh, and how much hope it gives uh, not only the basics you know which is protection against the rain and the strong winds um, and a place for the family to come together. It all uh, provides a sustainable life for them, but also allows them to live in greater dignity. Uh, so we've decided to visit uh, some of the homes, or at least one of the homes. And so we ran into this wonderful family. And Beth is uh, offered to translate for me because I only speak English. Um, so uh, I guess the my first question is, um, how who's the homeowner and how many uh, people live here? Okay, let my name go. Kias Metkaila, say So he's the house owner. She has eight children, and then there are three children. Wow, so 11 people live in this house, and it's a wonderful house. So they're saying they have changes not just in their physical condition because yes now they sleep better they don't have to worry when it rains but also they have more hope for the future they have more hope that their children are going to have a better a better life too smiles on the faces of the children and the pride that uh, the men that own these houses and the women that own these houses have for their family. It's, it's really um, amazing. When we come here, I think that we gain so much more than we give to them. I just hope to bring the happiness back to the States. I mean, these people are amazing people. I think my favorite part is interacting with the kids for sure, just having them come sit on your lap. It's beautiful to be able to demonstrate God's love to them and, and touch them and let them know that they're not forgotten. You know, I'm going to take away the reality that one person can make a difference. Uh, that regardless of the situation we find ourselves in, we can be a vehicle and conduit that God can use to help change the world. 